Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Just realized I'm reusing a man-made mead bottle and I haven't taken the label off. This is not peppermint. This is elderberry boucher. Not to trick you. This is 9%. Yep, and at 1.022. We'll see how this is. I was very, uh, I was questioning it. I have not tried it yet. I really wanted to wait and give it some time. Three months is usually a good starting point. I think Beauchets in general take longer to age. Oh, that smells good though. Um, oh, that good. oh, that smells good though. Ooh, look at that color. Holy, oh my God, it's so dark you like can't see through it. Who knows if this is clear or not. All right. Oh, whoa, okay. Holy moly. This gotta, this needs to open up for a minute. That is deep. I don't even know how to describe the scent. I'm just gonna try it. Okay. It needs longer, it's the Boucher. That Boucher needs longer. Um, hmm. It still has this weird, like, almost medicinal property to it. Viewers uh, had commented on my previous videos on this mead and the making of um, that I may have boiled the elderberries for too long. Most people also use fresh elderberries and I got like a huge bag of dried elderberries. In the instructions for it, I think said to boil for 30 minutes. It wasn't instructions. I think it was something I read online. I, I, Cause I've, I've read different things and I may have gotten confused uh, where some elderberries are like poisonous unless you cook them. And I don't think others are, I'm not sure. Um, for those of you who are watching, if you are experienced elderberry people, please, please comment um, how you sort of process your elderberries. Um, and especially if you've used dry ones, dried ones. I would love to have an elderberry bush at my house uh, and to be able to use fresh berries. But um, I have almost a full five pounds that I need to use of dried. So if y'all can help me out with that. So I rehydrated them. I boiled them for 30 minutes. Uh, it looks like I did add them to secondary. Um, not primary. And I did add a little bit of black currant, like a small amount to help rise up, uh, bring up some, I don't know, more of a fresh tart berry taste. And I also added a vanilla bean to this, but I don't know, do I even get that? You do get hit with tart, uh, the um, black currant in the beginning. I feel like I should just make a black currant mead, like straight black currant and also probably straight elderberry so that I can pull the two apart easier. So you get that in the beginning. It's this nice, fresh, sort of juicy flavor. And then you get the Bochet elderberry blend, whatever, whatever this is. <laughs> it's weird. It's all blended together uh, into this sort of like deep multi thing not making this sound very appetizing, I know. I'm very curious to know how this is gonna be at a year. The flavors have melded and become themselves more over this uh, this past three months, but not enough. I'll just say that right now. Yeah, it's just not ready yet. I don't even really know how to fully analyze this, except that it's not ready yet. And I might've done something wrong with elderberries. Anyways, please let me know uh in the comments how you use elderberries be very helpful for not only me but anyone else watching who uh might want to make an elderberry based mead but isn't really sure where to start i'd really appreciate that and i'm not gonna look at this again for until it's been a year until uh may <laughs> until may of next year because oh don't really want to drink this nope Nope, nope. <laughs> eh. 
and let me know how long you leave bochets for, because this is my first bochet. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Please check out my social medias and all my links and things below um, for some support. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.